Today we're going to begin making three pattern feathers. Now we have four different feathers to choose from and you get to pick three different ones. Um, and once you are ready, we're going to simply trace them onto our paper. Now it's important that you start first way out to one side. So then just like you see here, you have room for all three. Um, don't trace them going at an angle because then it might be a little bit tough. You're going to make sure you think ahead so you can fit all three onto your paper. Um, but simply do one at a time. Hold it down, carefully trace around it. Now it doesn't need to be perfect, but try your best to go around it, holding it still to keep it from moving. Okay, just like that, there you go. And then do the next one and the last one. You can see I'll flip it over here. I've already traced the other ones. After you trace all three, then your job is to fill them in with different patterns. Now you may want to take out your Zentangle packet to help give you ideas. Remember this packet's kind of nice because it shows step by step how to create each design. And then we'll even give you a couple different variations of each design too. One thing to keep in mind though is we don't want our patterns to get too small. So I would focus on maybe, you know, maybe three different patterns for each feather. So kind of envision the top half being one, the middle and then a tiny one at the bottom there. It may help you to even just split your feather up. Maybe I just do that so then I have these three different spaces. Um, it's completely up to you. Just please keep in mind make these designs relatively large because you're going to see later we're going to go over these with a pastel to create something that we're going to call a wax resist because we're going to use watercolors with this project too. So simply just doing that as a checkerboard kind of pattern would be just fine. It's nice and big. Maybe I want to go this way with some zigzag lines. Again, keeping them spread out. If I have my lines really close together like this line here I just added, my oil pastel is only going to be able to do that as one line instead of two. So again, you want to make sure you have quite a bit of space in between. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and show you a finished one too. You can see I'm going to zoom in a little bit on some of these designs. Now uh, you can see this is as small as you'd want to go. Um, but once you've finished filling in all three, come show me to get your white oil pastel. Now you can see if I hold it close, you may even be able to see I've already gone over this one with the pastel. Now we're using white to kind of create a little bit of a magic trick with the watercolor pastels. And we'll see more of that tomorrow. So it's just important your feather. Right here, I did not go over yet. So one thing to keep in mind, in order for these wax resists to work, you have to push down pretty hard with this oil pastel. If you don't push down hard enough, the trick's not going to work. And sometimes you even have to go back over a line just to make sure you get the whole thing filled in. So sometimes I just do these little mini back and forth movements as I go over a line just to really make sure I'm getting a lot on the paper. And then don't forget to, to go around the feather too. We are going to cut these out anyways. But I just want to go around the thing too. Just like so. So there we go. I just finished that one and these I did earlier. So I am ready for the next step. Um, when you are finished going over and then you'll be ready for tomorrow. Have fun.